I'm going to show how to put different colors, random colors, in different instances. So let's go to Geometry Nodes, let's close this, select this object and create a new profile. I'm going to delete this node and create Shift A, a grid. Let's connect this and let's make it bigger and with more vertices. So let's put some points and some objects. Instance on points and let's put, for example, cubes as instance. Let's make it smaller. So let's decrease this, for example, something like that. To make it easier, you can put a value here to control the three values. For example, something like that. Perfect. A bit bigger. And this too. For example, like that. Perfect. Let's put the material view and let's put a node like set material and select the only material. Perfect. So we have all this white. How we can make all this like random colors? This is really important. This only work if in the output we have instant. How we know if we have instant? Because this is instant. And as you can see, we still have instance if you read the output. So in the end, here, we are receiving instant. Can you see that says 1296? So this only works, this trick, if we have instant. So let's open a shade editor. Let's close this with N. And the only thing you have to do is to connect in base color, control the color, object info. And connect random, really important, random to base color. So this puts like random colors between black and white. Okay, so how we can change these colors? Really easy. Just put a color ramp here, color ramp. So we can control the amount and the colors. If you push the black, we are saying that we want more black random colors. If you put it almost maximum, you have almost all black. You can control here to be more precise. And if we push the white, we are making more white colors. Easy, right? Okay, but now we can click here and here and change the color. For example, I want blue and I want red. So we can control different colors. Now we have blue and red and between the colors that it's a gradient. But if you want only two colors, only click here and put constant. So this, look makes that there is no transition. And with this, if you put in the middle, we have half blue, half red. If you want more colors, just click here and you can put more colors, for example, yellow. And now we have three colors. And you can change this to make it more from one color or less from another. Or actually you can delete this, for example, and make animation for example, you're explaining, I don't know, something and you want to say that there is a lot of people. For example, let's put green. That, I don't know, uh, every time there is more people, you see, and you can make like this animation that is increasing until reach, until the end. Let me put green, green. This is green. Yes, I think it's green. Until here, look. Oops. Almost here. Oh, zero. 0.0001. You see, you can make this animation. For example, I press I and I go to the end and I put this in one and I press A. So now if we press play, we have this animation. I repeat, this only works if we work with instant. If you convert this instant to mesh, for example, putting realize instant, now this doesn't work. Look, it's not working. Why? Because read here. We don't have instant. Now we have a mesh, we have vertices, edges, faces. So this doesn't work anymore, the option to put random colors. So only works if we have instant in the output. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my better. So, see you next video.